Right now, there is a desperate search underway to find survivors of the disastrous flooding in Western Europe. Images of the catastrophe show sinkholes that swallowed up homes and other buildings. More than 170 have lost their lives. CBS's MTS Tayab reports. It's a disaster unlike anything seen here before. Once thriving communities, now in ruins after torrents of water tore through homes and businesses, upending lives. The death toll caused by the widespread flooding is only rising. And in Germany alone, around 1,000 people are still missing. There's so many people dead. <sighs> you don't expect people to die in a flood in Germany. Uh, you expect it maybe in poor countries, but you don't expect it here. But it was all too fast, too quick. As rescue workers begin clearing away the wreckage, questions are being asked about how Germany's elaborate flood warning system failed. German officials said the system, which includes a network of sensors that measure river levels in real time, functioned as it was supposed to. But with so much rain in such a short period of time, they say it was next to impossible to react quickly. In neighboring Belgium and the Netherlands, the extreme downpour also wreaked havoc, with leaders from across the region saying climate change is what caused the devastation. Ralph Toomey is a climate scientist from the Imperial College of London. I think it's safe to say there is a straight line that you can draw between the disaster in Central Europe to climate change. There is, and we've been saying this for, I don't know, decades. More a warm atmosphere, more water, stronger rain. So this is a rule of thumb. It's not changed. It's basic physics. And basically, we are rolling the dice all the time. After years of investment in flood defenses, these wealthy Western European nations believe they hadn't gambled on safety. But those defenses were no match for the force of a rapidly changing climate. In Piaz Tibes, CBS News, London.